Well, if I talk on it, but Jaden Chase, they have to make the fans them know how I really are going. Yeah, man, move settings, viewers and subscribers. And we no need no ladder. Gaza Nation, we no find the Gaza Station. Welcome to the channel, a Jaden Chase. And yes, we are bringing another new and exciting reason for the topic of dancehall and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Man, 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 I remind you now, for click the subscribe icon, then the bell icon, and for also leave a like, a comment, and yes, but a share from the block in truth. Now, viewers and subscribers, after Vibes Carter's heartfelt post about his dancehall mentor and father figure, Bounty Killer Spice recently opened up on a podcast style interview in which she also mentioned Bounty Killer and also Vibes Cartel himself, viewers and subscribers, and she touched the topic of intimacy. And this statement also fueled the speculation. We knew each other before the fame. That's why I always say, a lot of people see the glory, but they don't know the story. We had a relationship before ramping shop and tracks like Bakwe and also Conjugal Visit continue for fuel the speculation. She also shared that the collaboration for ramping shop came about after a sold out concert in 2009 when Vibes Cartel convinced her that they were now famous. We make it mama and needed to get together to make a hit track. Spice credited Cartel has changed in the flow of dancehall because of his flow and unique lyrical content. I agree with Spice. Just like how the teacher said, Bounty at the dancehall, Einstein must say, yo, Vibes Cartel at the, the Bill Gates and the Steve Jobs and the Bill Wozniak of dancehall. You know what I mean? Definitely reinvented all our work and bring forth a newer style of dancehall music. She also revealed that the first time she did not like the track which Cartel wrote by himself. Yeah, because the beat was too slow. However, she said that she decided to give it her all. She also went into detail about the friendship and once again he reiterated that they never had a romantic relationship yes viewers and subscribers she reiterated that they never had a romantic relationship while most people as i'm gonna say tracks well fuel that speculation that at one point in time yeah they were an item whether they might choose to keep that on a level or she actually i thought i choose and i said no but i guess she said them really have a special bond from the days I've been in Portmore trying to become artists. I become world famous artists. She said we both come from Portmore. And when Vibes Cartel was trying to make a name for himself, and she was also making a name for herself, them used to go to shows anywhere them could have find it. You know what I mean? No matter where them there. Them would have go. And she said, one night, she and the teacher were heading to a show. And the car was full. And Vibes Cartel tell her, say, what you going on, mama? You can still forward, you know. We're not left you. Watch that player. Wall a seat on my lap. And she said them travel from Portmore all the way to Ocherius. Go do the show. Them time in the highway never did it. Nobody feel like a them just go so boom and chop out a mandala this so and chop go right out this so and take the highway. No! The highway never did it. They never travel all the way to Spanish town. Travel that way the links to the way and go all the way at that way they never travel. For reach. With her in I am lap. No, them time my man never tick so still. You <laughs> age never tick so. But that show you said the fact said Vibes Cartel was definitely an individual who invested in her career. Somebody who wants to see her shine. I definitely one of the only dancehall artists or superstars other than Bounty. Because she said Bounty did tell her that she would be the queen one day. Other than Bounty, Vibes Cartel one of the artists that I can say sincerely happy. This is Spice where she is at right now. And whether it was fueled by Vibes Carter's heartfelt post in which you talk about theme mentor and theme dancehall father figure, bounty killer, or you know what I mean? She definitely the question was presented to her and she answered as truthful as she could. And she just mentioned what she didn't need to mention and keep up on a level. She said, No, you have never been intimate. Some people will still say, Yo, 
Mama just said that because it was an interview and you know the something go and she just decides you have to keep her personal life personal and if that's her choice I can only respect that know what I mean yeah that has nothing to do with the music so that not gonna make more songs sell and now one thing we know for sure though anytime you see Spice and Vibes Cartel or Vibes Cartel and Spice name on a track we know what we look out for we know just what to look out for another dancehall hit of course but authentic dancehall king and queen style music them sound complement each other from ramping shop days till now but now I go around you some people have style have tried to master a certain level of raunchy but there's a certain style and image we have to have when you bring that across and Spice is also a businesswoman, somebody who people respect. She have her foundation, she the whole heap. She help whole heap women, and you know what I mean. She do her thing. As a public figure, we can definitely say she use her capacity as a celebrity and her status as a celebrity to help others. I'ma like that style. You know what I mean? Just like when them them crown um Miss Universe and you see the role them play. It's basically like an ambassador will help people and do what they do. She definitely do that with the crown as queen. Vibes Cartel is currently where he is now, so you know the situation go. But him still use music to elevate the genre, to inspire, to motivate, still push the envelope with tracks were released recently but recorded months ago. Well, with the, at this point in time, we can't even say months ago. We have to say years ago. Yeah, because we now stop saying that. You can't get me to say otherwise. You can't get me say otherwise but it is fun to see though the effect where vibes cartel and spice music still have in a dancehall space know what i mean spice has definitely capitalized on the legacy of great females in the dancehall music lady like patra lady saw you name the names even from sister nan, nan uh, uh, yeah sister nancy days yeah and what spice has managed to do is to fuse not only music with sound good but also gear performance choreographed performances and show you the dancer showcase dancer at its finest anytime you see her on a major show she's always there with her dancers who are dancers known in the local dancer space as well so definitely a good look also females will teach dancing to an international audience so when we talk about dancer spice definitely a represent for the dancer genre definitely a good look on that but can't go around it you know what i mean definitely a very good look big up spice and fear she big up the teacher and you know what i mean yeah definitely a good look fear all of what she had to say you know the whole formulation or the creation of the even the ramping shop track she mentioned that teacher write the entire track but at first the beat was too slow and she didn't like the beat maybe she was the one who decided that you know it would be nicer if it was on the, the new rhythm and you know so that rhythm had to be changed also and that's where he got the billboard accredit accredit Muna said it was accredited after that. As me that say you the notoriety was there even long before that billboard accreditation. Because near the ear the track and was concerned. And whole heap people did remixes on the rhythm. Yeah, whole heap other artists did, did remixes. Underground artists, me say. And Neo never really care. It's the track Sean with Vibes Cartel and Spice song that I get making say we mate. Maybe this will take away from sales of my track. So you know, he requested that the the beat be changed. Or his record label rather requested that the beat be changed. And I've been be the spokesman for the whole statement. Being that he had the connection at that point in time. He was a father of Jamaica. You see me? He was just a father of yard and beating. So, you know, he said what he said. And it was the silver line and the dark cloud. Because the facts of the rhythm was changed to an original rhythm. He could have done the numbers and all proceeds could have got to all parties were actually involved in the creation of the song because it really had nothing to do with Neo's track. It was an original written track by Vibes Cartel. The concept had nothing to do with where we near that talk about and you know what I mean it was a completely different track. So having it on a different rhythm definitely set it off. You know what I mean? Yes. Peak through the numbers. I think it peaked at number six or seven on the billboard charts. Worldwide, top 100. You know what I mean? Big accomplishment. Top 100. 
Big up Spice and big up the teacher. Bye to the one called Jaden Chase, the dancehall correspondent and the Gaza representative. And I'm reminding you now if you're new to the channel, new to the movement, you just a pass through. But you like the reason, of course, you like the point of view. Well, I am suggesting that you click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon and put it on all. And this is how you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform. Viewers and subscribers, you know this up. Go. The like icon there. If I may like you, drop a like on the block. In truth, the share icon is also there as well. You can tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell them sister and them brother them. For check out the reasoning, check out the channel, check out the vlog, join the discussion. The comment section is always open. No matter when you are them, see the vlog 24 7 open. Never lack yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, the comments, and your opinions there. We can continue reasoning via the comment section. You know the settings, and for those who don't, outmove settings, fam. And we don't need no ladder. And my sentiments for you and yours, I'm gonna live, love, and prosper until we reason again.